This is the CBS Evening News with Katie Couric reporting tonight from St. Paul, Minnesota. Good afternoon, CBC viewers. I'm Harper Sandu, and today I have breaking news on Captain Torres getting more than just a shave. Here we have our special reporter, Alicia Walker, who is going to follow up on the story. Good afternoon, Harmony Creek. I'm here with cameraman Steve following up on the latest breaking news. Here with me is Officer Nance. Hello, Officer Nance. Hello. Can you tell us what happened here? All I can reveal at this moment right now is that Alfredo Cortez uh, turned himself in yesterday. Can you give us any other information? At this moment, we can't reveal much. As soon as we get more information, we will let you on it. Thank you, Officer Nas. You're welcome. We are now here with Rob, the owner of the store next door where Captain Torres was killed. Rob, can you tell us what your relationship was like with Captain Torres? Me and Alfredo were very close friends, but I would have never expected something like this from him. Did Alfredo ever tell you anything about trying to harm Captain Torres in any way? Um, no, he never told me anything about that. Thank you, sir, for your time. Have a good day. Back to you, Harmon Creek. Thank you, Alicia. It is currently 4.30 on 11 degrees outside with some chances of rain. We'll be back after a break. I'll never forget my first visit to the Werther's Caramel Shop. Delicious caramels everywhere. There were soft ones, chewy ones, hard ones, and one that was very sweet. With a century of European tradition, we make caramels that make everyone feel like someone special. I still go there every chance I get. Werther's Original, the world's favorite caramel. At Desert Dan General Insurance, we've never claimed to have invented direct car insurance. But just because something's been invented, do you stop there? I should be in Toronto in a week and a half. We knew we could do much better. To experience the improved direct model, call or click dgidirect.ca. Insurance improved. Welcome back. Yesterday, Captain Torres was murdered by his Barbara Alfredo Cortez, and we are here live with some witnesses. Back to you, Alicia. I'm here with a sincere friend of Alfredo Cortez. Hello, Antonio. Hi. You were present during Captain Torres' shave. Can you tell us about any conversation they were having? Captain Torres was um, talking about rebels, and he was listening. I don't think he would react it in this way. I can't believe how Alfredo could have done that. When Captain Torres was leaving, did he make any rude remarks? Um, he said that killing is easy and take his word for it, and that's when Alfredo got angry. Well, thank you for your time, Antonio. Your feedback was very useful. Thank you very much. After this break, we'll have Bobby taking over this case. One tragic day in history. Terrorists, they hit New York. A small town takes in thousands of travelers bound for New York, stranded in Gander, Newfoundland. The amazing true story, diverted, Friday at 8 on CBC. More truck for your buck clearance is here, while quantities last. Head to your local Chevy dealer now. Can we eat yet? Can we eat yet? Not just yet. The Simpsons are coming to dinner. Now when you buy any KFC family meal, you get one of six collectible Simpsons figurines. Free. Collect them all. Life tastes better with KFC. CBC News, giving Canadians a choice. Turn to CBC Television, Radio, Newsworld, and cbcnews.ca for the whole story. Good afternoon. I'm a follow-up reporter, Bobby, for CBC News. I'm here with a member of Captain Torres' troop. Now, how do you feel about Captain Torres being dead, and have you tried warning him about any of this? I'm very disappointed that Captain Torres decided to go to the barber shop because I know something was going to be wrong there. So, did you try talking him out of it anyway? I told him that Alfredo was a rebel. He wouldn't listen to me. He went. Is there any last words you might as well want to tell him? I, I wish I could have stopped him. I wish I could have tried harder. If I tried harder, maybe he would be still alive. Now that the captain's dead, what do you think is going to happen to the troops? Well, for now, we're not sure, but we'll probably select a new captain. Thank you for talking to us about this really tragic situation. We'll be back after this short commercial break.
Mr. Nas, who has Alfredo in custody right now. Mr. Nas, is it possible for us to see Alfredo right now? At this moment, as you can see, I'm not allowed to reveal anything. But I am going to let you on one secret. Is that Alfredo Cortez is going to receive punishment. Right now, we're not sure what the punishment is, but he will surely get one. Thank you, Officer Nas. The public is still deciding if they should or should not punish Alfredo for what he did. Now, Captain Torres did murder all those civilians brutally in front of the public. We'll be following the story and have more information for the CBC viewers on our next episode at 7 o'clock. Thank you. And Harvey Free and here you are watching CBC News. We'll be back with more evening news at 7. I'm Harvey Prisand and you've been watching CBC News. We'll be back some, with some more evening news at 7. Now, our citizens are arguing whether Alfredo should receive punishment after all blah blah blah. And then after, yeah, then after, thank you for watching and we'll yeah. get more, more back. We'll get back on the scene. Do I have to say this? Should I say this? I don't think we have this for you. I know, we take it off. I don't even know what the other thing. Take it back there. Okay, let me take it into the group discussion. Okay, okay. So just let's let's just get this part done for now. So don't s I will we'll cut that part out. I'll just say this and then you see your last one. But you guys know how crusty the table is. Oh, I'm sorry. Okay, let's just do it. Okay, so all I can reveal at this moment is that uh, Alfredo Cortez revealed himself. Uh, I'm here with a sincere friend of Captain Tor. Holy shit. Thank you, Officer Nas. Officer Nas, okay. Thank you, Officer Nas. <laughs> nice one. <laughs> nice. No, no. That was because of you, okay? What, what did I what do? I was looking at the <laughs> Three, two. Thank you, Officer Nas. The public is still deciding if they should or should not punish Alfredo for what he did. After all, Captain Torres did brutally murder all those civilians. Now, we'll be here. Just when I had everything done. <laughs> I got them in the camera. You have... I'm here with Officer Nas, a follow up for your news. I'm here with Officer Nas, a follow-up reporter news. Reporting. I'm here with Officer Nas, a follow-up reporter news. Reporting.